Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome again to Savage Gaming and a quick tutorial on Subnautica. So, I've noticed some of the guys are searching for uh, certain resources, and uh, I thought I'd just make a video for you guys just to show you quickly on how to find them. So, one of the resources is the fiber mesh um, so we're going to need creep fine samples according to our fabricator so let's go and jump on top of our life pod let's have a quick look so what, what we're going to need before we go and venture out to get our creep fine samples is um, we're going to need our uh, survival knife so you can see i've got that equipped right now and um, we're going to have to find our creep vine samples. So if, if you don't know how to find clusters or anything like creep vine clusters, um, this will show you where to find clusters and samples. So let's just jump in the water quickly and show you guys where to go. So as we are in the shape shallows, we're going to want to have a look around. We want to look for one of these little dangly bits out here. So I'm in creative mode, so I've got no damage against me. Or oxygen or anything like that but it's just for the sake of the video I will swim on the surface for you guys so we can get close to our kelp forest area so here we are in the kelp forest area this is these uh, dangly bits you know sort of floating in the middle of nowhere so as some of you may know these yellow things down here, those are your creep vine clusters, and that's not what we're looking for, guys. Don't get clusters confused with samples. Um, the deeper you go, the more risk, uh, more risk you take by getting eaten by stalker sharks. So, saying that, another word of advice: these sharks they are attracted to metal. Um, but if you keep your distance, you can be pretty safe from them as well. And uh, if they come after you, oh, my knife's just glitched out. There we go. Um, if they come after you, uh, if you give them a hit, they'll leave you alone for a bit. So I'll show you quickly. Give him a whack and he'll leave us alone. So there he goes and he swims away. So back to the video. We want to get our creep vine samples. So we're going to swim up to the creep vine. When it says creep vine under the reticle, we want to give it a hit like that. And, and grab a few of those. So I've took, taken four of those because I know um, we're going to have to build a little bit more. Uh, so you don't want to risk coming back here and risk dying. So you want to grab as much as you can while you're out there. And, uh, you know, risking yourself in the uh, kelp forest. So we're going to jump back in our life pod. Open our fabricator. Click the resources tab basic materials and third from the top is fiber mesh and there you go it's taken it out of my inventory and I've built one but remember we took four so that means we can build two fiber mesh so now with two fiber mesh we can pop it in our storage uh, if we've got floating storage we can use that as well um, but yeah just try and grab as much as you can um, to mitigate your risk when you when you uh, swimming in the kelp forest because the stalker sharks can be quite a bit of a hazard. Um, another good word of advice is take a medical kit with you. If you do get bitten, at least you can uh, you know take your medical kit and revive yourself a little bit and uh, get back to base if need be. So yeah, I think that's it guys, that's how to get to fiber mesh and where to find it from and uh, we've pretty much covered all the dangers. So hope you enjoyed the video guys, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it, uh, leave it, subscribe if you want to watch some more videos based on uh, um, other games and on Subnautica, I've got a whole bunch of other videos as well and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. So thanks for watching guys, cheers.